Right, hello guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a IMVU product icon. I made a video before on how to make an icon, but that was just more on how to set up an icon, but I'm going to be showing you how to literally make an icon or, or ways of making an icon. Because I don't want to make the icons that you'll see in this video to be the exact same as mine because I don't want people shop to look like mine. So what I'm going to do is is just kind of make it up as I go along. I'm going to try and make an icon, a different icon. And then you guys can like use that or whatever. Or maybe I might like the one I make, who knows. But I ain't going to use a product that I've made. I've already made this product before, but I made a icon for it and I didn't really like the icon. So I'm going to make a new one because the icon I made <laughs> is so bad. Look at that, it's the ugliest icon I've probably used ever made in my life that is possibly the worst icon i've ever made so i'm gonna make a new one and how i'm gonna do this is what i'm gonna do when i have the icon uh, i mean not the icon when i have the product that i'm gonna be making an icon for obviously you want to make uh get a nice picture of it so this will do i'll do this and then what i usually do is use a body like body light face light whatever you want to call it the one I got is from Hydra, full body light, but you can actually get it from anyone. There's loads of places you can get it from. And um, yeah, we're gonna do this, uh, this angle. So what I do here is type, um, I'll show you right now. So I already took a picture. So I do the star symbol, high res, no, BG, which is no high res, no background, so there's no background. It's actually just what I literally just displayed there. So what we're gonna do now is close this. Well, don't not close it, but minimize. And here's a picture without the background, so it's got literally nothing behind it. It's just this is the picture here, PNG file. So when you put it in Photoshop, there's not gonna be a background. You can actually just do whatever you want to this part of the picture here. So we're gonna go into Photoshop. Good old trusty Photoshop, ain't got a logo, uh, icon, whatever you can call it, I don't know why. It's definitely not fake. <laughs> so what you want to do now is go to File, Open, Desktop, or wherever your um, high res no background image saves, but it usually saves into your desktop. Apparently soon enough they're going to be stopping this high res no background command. I'm not too sure if that's true or not. But I don't know how you're going to take pictures of uh, products now. But anyways. So we're going to get this open. And this is it. Literally no background behind it. So we're going to have to add a background. So you can either have a white background. With nothing. Just a plain white background. Or you can make it look like it's like some sort of. Modeling like studio or something in the background. Or just kind of. So we'll make it plain. Plain white. For now because um, I always make it through the big default image I don't always make it through like because some people like to do this they like to go on new uh, what is it 100 by 80 pixels I always do 92 I don't know if that even changes anything it probably doesn't um, but yeah some people like to do 180 and just have it as a little box and then do that icon through this little box that's how I used to do it but I do it where I just open the image that I saved and just edit it through that. And then what I do is obviously file, place, and then place it into this, how I want it to look. So what we're gonna do is in this tutorial, it's basically going to be the same as my lighting tutorial that I did or that I uh, made for you guys, like how to edit like I do on Instagram. Um, which did really well by the way and a lot of people are making a lot of lit pictures as well from uh, from basically them just watching my video and learning which is pretty cool so good on good on those people that now know how to edit but basically what I'm gonna do here is I made a white background added a bit of black lowered the opacity at the bottom so it kind of gives it a bit of like just a bit of change so it's like not Full white, just a plain white background has got to be a little bit of just something and just something different, I guess, not just plain. I didn't really know what to say for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then what I did here is use the pen tool. Right here, the pen tool. 
you uh, I made a straight line you literally right click on the pen tool actually before you right click onto the pen tool go to the brush tool choose a hard brush with the hardness on 100% and make it literally one pixel actually no we'll do two shit sorry one we'll do two two uh, two pixels or whatever that said go back to the pen tool right click no not there right click on the picture <laughs> and click fill path wait uh oh no that's not the one you click stroke path and then you click on brush press ok and then go to paths and where this path is delete path and then this will be just a straight line like that and then what I'm gonna do I'm just doing this as I go along I've done this with some of my icons before so um, so what I did here is I control J on the layer to make a, a completely new layer let's get rid of this layer for now and what we're gonna do with this one is blur Gaussian, Gaussian blur whatever you call that <laughs> we're gonna make it a bit blurred so it's not like like just a straight line like a sharp straight line so yeah kind of like that and then we'll add this I guess we can lower the opacity a little bit just to make look just to make it look like it's like a wall like you know the bottom of a wall, uh, the bottom of the wall where it connects from the floor and then goes up as a wall that's basically the effect I'm trying to trying to do right here I'm not sure if I did it well but anyways it doesn't really matter because you, you you're probably not even gonna see that in the icon anyways so we did the background what people like to do also is obviously add a shadow for your avatar to make it look realistic have realism and what people usually do is either control J the first layer which is the layer of your icon image and basically just angle it to where they think the shadow should be go coming from so like say here double click color overlay make it black press ok go to filter blur Gaussian blur again and make it super high so like that I guess so it kind of gives it kind of gives your product a shadow but what I like to do is get rid of that okay so if you have a drawing pad it would be very 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 efficient for you anyways and if you know how to draw then it will be 10 times better for you so make a new layer like I have here layer 4 this is going to be the shadow layer and basically I'm just going to use a soft brush zero zero hardness zero percent hardness and just kind of draw lines to where I think the legs are gonna be and like attach like that and then we'll do the same thing again with a Gaussian blur, whatever you call it. And just lower it a bit to make it seem like... Right, what we're going to do is make this a bit thicker. So it doesn't look like he's got skinny legs or something. And we'll do the same again. And we'll lower the opacity. Just like that, yeah. That'll do. And obviously you can lower it with the opacity if it's too much. Like if the... If the shadows are too dense, like too too much, then you can just lower the opacity. So I'll say that'll do. So there we have a shadow for our product. And then obviously if you want to add more realism to the product, you make a new layer over your product layer. Hold Alt on your computer. And then if you put your cursor in between the two layers, click then this, then anything on this layer will only go above this image so if I was to demonstrate so if I was to draw here it won't show up as you see I drew there you see the little circle but it won't pop up but if I draw here to where 
it's actually assigned to like here look it'll work so it only the only place you can draw is within this no background image that's why the no background image is crucial to have in the first place for shadows and whatnot so we'll lower the opacity i usually use 75 75 percent and then then obviously if you know how to draw and you know where sh like how shadows work you know like if um if lighting was to come to if lighting was to come from this side which it basically is because this shadow here is directing like this way i'm trying to demonstrate with arrows <laughs> but anyways if the lighting was coming from this direction where this arrow is pointing um then obviously the lighting will be like here is where the lighting will be at the front and then the shadows at the back behind the other side because there's no light coming through there's no light there i'll leave the arrow there anyways just for you guys but obviously we'll get a black brush make sure you go to here the hardness is on zero percent so then it actually looks like a sh like sh like shading at such like this because if i was to use a hard brush hardness high look <laughs> That's not a shadow, unless you do that and then do blur and Gaussian blur. But I would rather just use a soft like brush like this. So you could just draw the shadows yourself. And then obviously if you want the, sh like the shadowing to be more realistic, cause it's kind of like, it's not very far out like the where it sh like fades out. And obviously with the Gaussian Blur, you can press it and it'll make it look more like a shadow, which I do tend to do. But for right now, I don't need to because I need to actually draw the shadows first. So, so you can actually just make shadows to where you think shadow should be. So I'm just going to do that now, like there everywhere where I think a shadow should be and obviously you can change the opacity so actually if I go back we're not going to do the in-depth shading first we're going to do the real basic shading first because like good thing I'm making this video to be honest because I wanted to make a new icon for this product anyways but I just literally couldn't be bothered so now this video kind of gives me the chance and with this picture here, like the arms squared, like you see how squared that is? How squared the body is there? Uh, we should get rid of the, uh, the arm. So how I'm going to do that is use this tool right up here. Yeah, this is, yeah, that's the one, that, that's the one. So we're going to use that one. And we're just going to cut out the arm. Don't worry, we'll make this look a lot better, like once we uh, do the shading and whatnot. So we're gonna get rid of the arm. Like so. Because we don't need that there. We don't need that. There we go. It could literally just be the torso. I mean, not the torso, yeah, the torso. And then, the obviously the product. But I mean, when you save this, and put it into your icon you can't fit the whole image in i think you probably could but it'll probably look really weird and stretched so the best thing to do is to obviously um just like try fit it in there i'll show you what i mean when i actually put my icon in but anyways what i'm going to do with this one as well is i'm going to make this black and white i'm going to do a black and white one because i don't ever make black and white um What's it? Um, icons. Actually, no, I've got an idea. I've got a good idea. So if we make a new layer, we click on this um, this layer, make a new layer, and it will automatically do that thing for you. 
If we go to where it says normal, change it to hue, and draw over, it'll make it black and white. So you only draw like where, like say the body here, like the torso. And with the black, as it's black, you don't need to make it black and white because it's, it's not nothing's changing, it's still the same color. So I want this, the only thing to be color, and the only way that that was, you know, hue and then draw where different colors are at other than black or white. So that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. So now if we go to here, bit of blur, Gaussian blur, turn it down just a little bit. So like, yeah, like that. And we're gonna make a new layer. Do the same thing, Alt. Pull it in between the two layers. Your cursor in between the two layers and click. And then lower the opacity to 75. Actually no, we do lighter. Because the lighting is gonna be more in front this way. So they shouldn't be as dark. The shading shouldn't be as dark, the shadows. And another thing you can do also, is if you go to normal, click on soft light with a black um, with a black uh, brush, it will actually, if we click on that one to get rid of the thing, it basically just gets the skin color and just darkens it, makes it a darker shade of skin color. But you've got to be careful with it because it could make your skin look weird, unless obviously you play with the opacities and stuff. But as it's black and white, it doesn't really matter. So you can just give it more like detail like in the abs and all that. And then obviously you can do that, the same thing again um, with a, a white brush. I'll show you in a sec, just to add lighting. So it kind of just gives it more detail. And lower the blur again. There we go. So then we're gonna add light lighting. So I like to use overlay for this one. So if we click on there and go to overlay, I'm not sure it's gonna look black and white. Ah, oh, it still looks pretty cool. And I've got, I've obviously got the opacity on max for now, but that's fine. You can just change that whenever you want. So you can add like realistic light. Um, creases and clothes and stuff and just gives it more glow with the skin so look, as you can see it looks a lot nicer up here now if we take these all off so that's default from the start untouched and then this is what happened when we played with it just completely changes it makes it more nice and obviously if you don't like the overlay, overlay, if it's too strong, you can obviously just turn it down. But I kind of like that because it like blends in with the background. So it looks like the lighting is really, really strong. So we're going to do that. And then what I like to do is make another layer again. Overlay. No, nah, no, nah, we'll do soft light. We'll try soft light. And then we'll make the cursor real small. The uh, size of the brush, sorry. And then we just basically like draw like lines to where you think there should be like um, kind of like light you know like uh, in anime or some like cartoons where the hair has like the white line going across it we're basically just doing that and obviously you go to blur you'll see in blur and just lower the the radius to whatever you feel is the best like that so it just gives it like a bit of an effect and I apologize if I said obviously like too much. So yeah, that's where the lighting comes from. And then go to the layer that you want, like go to the icon layer or the product layer, sorry. And if you want to make it look less boxy, then obviously you can like either rub that out with a, with a, with a, Rub that out with the eraser, just 
just make it more rounded. It kind of, kind of gives it like a cool softness around the edges as well. But I got a trick for that, guys. I got a trick. I'm going to keep that how it is like that, though, so that's nice. I know a trick that I like to use on my edits and stuff like that that I'm going to show you and share with you. So basically what I do is get this um, quick selection tool, not the magic wand, the quick selection tool. I like to make it a big selection, like I've made the size of it bigger and then just select the whole thing. But as it's on the icon layer, it will only select the icon as it's got no background, it's only going to select the icon. And then what I like to do here is go to select at the top, inverse. So as you see, it's changed. So it's like on the outside as well. Go to select again, modify, feather or shift F6. Click on that. I put the radius as five, press OK and then press backspace. And as you can tell there, it's kind of like softened the edges a bit. As you can tell here, it's kind of softened the edges. So it does make it look as box, but then obviously you can change that yourself. If you want to make it look more round, you can just like kind of mess with it with the, with the, uh, uh, with the, the eraser tool, sorry. And then I guess add more shadows, which I'm going to do right now. Lower the opacity, we're going to put it to 75. And then we're going to add some shading. Ah, oh, wrong brush. Then we're going to add some shading. For the... Icon. And like the product, the shading of the product. So as the light's coming towards, we're going to... shading there we're not gonna add any light into this because it's pretty bright already and then there'll eventually be a point where you can't really see the thing because as you see here it kind of like made it super bright from when I was making the edges bright and stuff but yeah I say that's about done really so if we take this off and then we'll save this save as JPEG I save it as a JPEG because it's the best quality, I think. I'm not too sure. And then I'll do that. And then what I like to do is go to new, 100 width, 80 height, okay. File, place, and then place your icon in there. And obviously enlarging it a bit so then it fits into the icon. So you can kind of make your little icon like that. And then obviously, with um, with this, when you're in this stage, you can basically do whatever you want. You can add like, you can add borders on top and the bottom or on all sides. You can add your name, you can put your name in there. So for example, if we were to get a text and just put vault, you can basically just add that either in the top corner, have it small, some people like to put their name in their icons because there are people that steal people's products as well as their icons. That's if they don't have their name. Because if you because if you put your name on it and someone tries to steal your icon, it's going to have your name unless they cover up your name. But some people like to put their name on like all corners or like somewhere, just like loads of names. So people can't really steal their icon as well as their product because there are people that steal products. But yeah, you can literally do whatever you want from this point point forward is just change it up a bit do whatever you want add like light, like darkness around the edges or whatever you want to do from there but that's basically how I do my icons really just kind of like the um, shading tutorial I did a couple of weeks ago or months ago even it's basically the same thing so anyways 
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. And if you want to know how to set up a icon tutorial, uh, um, and if you want to know how to set up an icon, like after I've showed you how to make one, I do have a video that I will link in the description below on how to set up an icon. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.